Yeah. There's people everywhere. I'm in the town, guys. I was talking to the camp. Just came to meet my missus from work in town and I got out of the car. And although I'm getting back in the car. <laughs> Yeah, but is it funny right? looks, but yeah. it's nice to be in town. We're driving home in a mo. I didn't get much footage back there when we went into where my missus is working. We basically just went in, met her, walked out, walked across the road, and got back in the car. But it was different. I'm still going to go for a walk when I get home, which will be in about five minutes. My missus has just popped in a shop. That's it. That is something new, something different. I'm pleased. It's been an okay day. I'll tell you more while I'm walking. 24th of May. We're out. We're walking. We're doing the same bit that we did yesterday. Going up the road, and then up the road, round to the grass. We did some gardening today. Started at about midday, and finished at about three, but it was getting seriously hot, man. But I just got myself into the zone, and just went for it. Just did it, mowed the whole damn lot. We had a break like halfway through, and then just carried on. It's nice and peaceful tonight. It's a lovely evening again. It's gonna be a lovely week. What I was trying to do today, and I've actually caught the sun on my neck and shoulders. I was trying to kind of condition myself to this heat because I struggle with it. And I think a lot of other people do as well. I see on social media, a lot of people saying it. Pets win prizes. <laughs> you know what someone's done? They've told the cat to look through the keyhole and put ink on the keyhole. Mm. Whoa, he looks angry. Let's go, Lace. He's going to hurt us. The cat's bigger than the dog. Oh. It's my daughter's last day at school tomorrow. She's got a week off. She's got the school disco and stuff, and then she's got a week off. Which is nice. Not really relevant to the video, but the bowls are on. Strike! It's not that kind of bowls, you idiot. <sighs> I've seen two cats already. We've seen the one with the eye patch. And then there was another black one over there. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Walk until, you see Walk until you see three cats. So we've just got home from getting my missus from work. Oh shit, there's a dog down here. Is it on the... A... I don't know. <laughs> oh god. So we just got back from picking my missus up and we've come straight out for a walk. No messing about. No delay. No anticipation. I'm going to have to put the cam down, because it's a dog, and it's big, and a cat. I'm going to have to play tennis on these courts. It looks so cool. Oh no, there's people on the field. Girls, now nah, we're going to have to go onto the grass, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop filming, because I'll look like an idiot. But we're heading onto the patch of grass to walk across, so there's people on it. So I'll speak to you when I get home. So we've walked past the people. <laughs> and now I feel like David Attenborough. What is that? Oh, there's a superb, strong smell of fucking weed. But it's disgusting. I didn't mean superb, I meant super, super strong. Connected to the Wi-Fi in a mo. And the question you got to ask is, why are people 
smoking weed. There's another cat. It's the one-eyed cat. He's got one eye on me. I know that's cruel, but it's not my fault. He's got one eye. People smoking weed in the streets, man. And the kids play in that patch of grass. If I was a police officer, I'd have tackled them to the ground, beat the living daylights out of them. Well, maybe not that, but I would have said, Oi, please, put down the weed. <sighs> We're home. <sighs> it's been good. Yeah. Lula, enjoyed? No. no. Well, two out of three ain't bad. So... <laughs> you made me laugh. <laughs> oh god. That looks so much better. Thanks. I've it got looks a, like bros. I've got a confession to make. What? I'm using a selfie stick. It wasn't a confession to you. Mm. It was a confession to them. What so it's been a hot, hot day. I'm walking up the garden. Let me show you my handiwork of the day. So I've mowed the grass. Mowed all the grass. And it was a, it's a big flipping job, although we ain't actually got that much grass I'm ducking under washing lines. This is good, isn't it? I wish I could walk around the streets with this, though I would look completely stupid. So, I brought you up to the top of the garden, only for two reasons. One is because it's peaceful, and two, to show you, my plan is like, you see the blue thing there? That is a huge pool. It's like a 12 foot something like that, a big round pool, like above ground. Like we've got the steps for it, look. So we had it up last summer, and it was cool. Like me and the kids were in there nearly every bloody day when it was hot. But this is the project for the summer, or for like now, is to get it ready for the summer. Because it's filthy, we let it get so dirty, we just didn't touch it over the winter. So regrettably, we've got to deal with it. So we've got to clean it all out. We've got this AstroTurf stuff down that you can see. And we've got this fence in here. Can you see the bamboo type fencing stuff? We're going to put that across here. Across these little fences. So the neighbours can't see me and me speedovers. <laughs> but they probably will anyway. Because the windows are freaking high in these houses. It's been a good day. I like this, I like this selfie stick, man. If they could make them just a bit more, I don't know. What can they do to selfie sticks to make them a bit cooler? <sighs> so, typical British guy. Sun's out, shorts on. I've got burnt shoulders and a burnt neck from being out in the garden too long. Obviously without sun cream. But you're lucky I didn't put bloody baby oil on because that's the old fashioned ways, isn't it? Ah oh dear. It's been a good day. The heat I've not let bother me as much. Like I did the gardening earlier and just did it. I just carried on regardless. I had a break, drank loads of juice to make sure that I was hydrated. And I want to sort of condition myself because the one thing that bothers me and I was speaking to my dad about this earlier, is that the air, the temperature of the air, that's what bothers me when it's hot like this. Like it's not the sun. I don't mind the, like getting burnt, that's not an issue. It's the temperature of the air that bothers me. Which is weird, like how can you compensate for that? How can you do anything about it? You can't. So I don't know, you just have to try and get used to it, I guess. So I've got no choice with that. Um, I didn't really plan to go and meet my wife from work. I just thought we were sitting around doing nothing, me and my lad. My daughter was at dancing, again. And I just texted my missus and said, we'll come and meet you in the car. So we drove over, got a space right opposite it, which was superb. And then we actually got out, went over. I know I didn't get sod all footage, but there was plenty of people about. Maybe next time I'll take the old selfie stick <laughs> oh dear so that's it it's wednesday this time next week will be the 31st i think i'm sure it's next wednesday so that'll be it i'll be lost this has become kind of a habit for me now 
getting to the end of the day and editing and putting the video on and putting it on. I just said that twice. I don't know why. But it's become a nice sort of habit. It's given me something to focus on. Something to think about. So whether I continue, I don't know how often I'll put videos on after this. But it's nice to have a reference. And it's also nice to know that I sort of feel compelled to go out and do something every day. So I'm going to try and continue that. Definitely with the walking. And I'm just going to try and step up. Sort of getting out. Even if it's in the car. I'm going to stick with the walk. Maybe it'll get... I'll expand. I don't know on the walk. But what I want to do is do other stuff as well. As much as possible. But again, no pressure. If you're still going out every day. We're 24th now. Then well done you. Congrats. It's been a long journey. And we ain't there yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. I will see you. No doubt. All being well. Tomorrow. <laughs>